Hey guys, welcome to the photo department. This is actually a really exciting episode because it's the debut of my new series called Social Study. The purpose of this series is to talk to other creatives, be it photographers, makers, designers, creators of all types that I think are either photography adjacent or that fit into the theme of this channel well, and basically pick their brains about why they do what they do, how they do it, and give you guys a new perspective on those things, which I think will be pretty fun. This very first installment of Social Study is a sit-down conversation with Ali Walsh of Canyon Coffee. Canyon Coffee was started by Ali and her partner Casey, and I sit down with her at her home in LA that she graciously invited us to, and talk to her about her company, how it got started, what inspires her, and I mean, you can just watch and find out for yourself. This was the first in a series of many. I'll be doing this hopefully weekly, but mostly bi-monthly. So look out for these. It's called Social Study, and I hope you guys enjoy this very first episode. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are with Allie Walsh. Yes. Yes, and you are the part owner and operator of Candy Coffee. Yes. Awesome, and you were so kind to invite us to your house so that we could have some coffee and talk to you about your company. How do you like the coffee? Um, you know, I knew I was gonna like it, and I feel like I'm a you know under a little bit of pressure to say that I like it because I'm on camera, but it actually is very very good. Okay, good. Go yeah, on. this is the Colombian. This is yeah the Tolima. Okay, yeah, it's very. It's I don't know how else to say it's figgy. It's yeah, got this like fig. I like that. said that. It's good. Mm. Yeah, it's not too fruit forward. It's like very good. I don't know. I like it. Cool. Um, so what made you want to start Canyon? Where did that come from? So Casey, my partner, and I have always wanted to start something together. Mm -hmm. And it kind of came, coffee always was like part of our lives in a way of, he was a musician, like I was saying, and I model. So we were always away from each other. Mm -hmm. And we always would look forward to coming home to make coffee together or send each other coffee bags when we'd be traveling. Mm -hmm. And it was something we always like looked forward to, like that ritual in yeah. the morning. So that was really exciting for us to always have that. And then it was just one day we were just decided we should roast our own coffee beans. So that just came out and of just wanting to do it? Casey also worked as, as a barista. We were really good friends with James, who's our roaster mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And we asked him, like, would you roast some coffee for us? It was just like a maybe like a project at the time. I don't think we really intended, like, thought it would become a, like a business. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know? So... Yeah, that's kind of how it started. We just asked our friend James to roast some coffee for us. And then just went from there? And then just went from there. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of and then, cool. And then it, it was it all it happened very organically. It was just like, what should we name the company? And we met in Beachwood Canyon mm -hmm. and in Los Angeles. And then we named it Beachwood. We named it Canyon. Mm -hmm. Or we just named our new bag Beachwood. That's why I said oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we named it Canyon. Uh -huh. And then we met friends at a we met people at a party like just the first time meeting them and realized he designs bags he designs for a living 
And we were like, we do that in our coffee bag. It was just all very organic. Cool. That's great. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, when I first thought, like, saw, you know, your Instagram and, like, read up on your company, I, like, was like, okay, this seems very, it did, it kind of gave off that kind of feel, like, this didn't seem like a business strategy. It seemed like. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It really just came from, like, our love and passion for coffee and community and, like, this, like, making coffee with friends and doing mm-hmm. events and pop-ups and like working with our friends it's like oh, really where it came from awesome and so casey uh was has been a barista yes um where does he um he, where was he he started with bar nine and okay. worked at bar nine and uh, minati's i have not heard of either of those places uh <laughs> one's in culver city and minati's is in venice oh, okay yeah they're they're amazing they're so does he still like to pull no. shots uh, oh yeah well we do a lot of events oh, okay so a lot right. of um Events and love espresso, our espresso machine. So you have like a setup that you take we, to. We events. work with this girl June. Her name, her name is June, and her company is called Welcome Coffee Cart. Mm-hmm. So she has this beautiful setup, and she'll just bring it. She gets to like bring it to events with us, and then they'll be uh, pulling shots. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. That's really cool. Uh, a friend of mine actually, they started their coffee company that way, where they just bought a really i think they bought a single group la marzocca machine and they put it on a car and they did weddings and like oh, yeah. food truck stuff and events and then they opened their first brick and mortar two years ago oh cool it's called a uh, retrograde hi daniel uh and yeah. uh that's up in sebastopol way up in north um but that they did the same kind of thing where it was really yeah. organic where they were like you know what we want to do something cool and we love coffee and they just like went for it yeah. and i think that their product kind of which like yours does it kind of like shows that that's what the goal was it doesn't right. taste yeah it's, it's like funny <laughs> we didn't we didn't like intend i mean maybe looking back we subconsciously wanted it to be because because it's such a part of our lives now yeah you know it's it's such a big part of, of, of who we are mm-hmm. and we do love what we do so so yeah it's, it's, we love it that's great yeah. what's the hardest part of starting or running a coffee company i mean it seems oh, like there's so many moving parts and i you know i'm from coffee so i know yeah um i mean like to you know casey and i we every day is is somewhat of a challenge you know we never we never ran a coffee company before mm-hmm. i was never a barista you mm-hmm. know, I just do um, the we do the best we can every day, and we're learning every single day. Yeah. You know, we ask for help a lot. We ask. We have a lot of amazing people that work with us mm-hmm. that we're really lucky. But yeah, I mean, we just we just fell in love with the idea of coffee, and it just it became what it became through us having a lot of help and support. That's good. You know, working with um, coffee importers and learning. Oh, yeah. You know, like trusting the trusting them. And, you know, there's, there's a system. There's a lot of people involved. Yeah, that's good. I mean, uh, the importing of coffee, I when I first started in coffee, I didn't even consider that part of it for right. a long time because you don't think of it. I don't think, think people do. It. Like, yeah, I don't think. Somewhere there's beans and then they get roasted and then right, they have but coffee. There is a, I mean, it's. <laughs> there's an entire yeah, thing. Right. So, like, I've never personally worked with, like, green buyers, for instance. Right. So I, I know people who do yeah. that. Um, but that seems immensely complicated like for a while i actually thought like oh maybe i should open a cafe but being the person that i am i wouldn't want to have someone else's coffee i'd want to do my own own. but there's just no i think it's more yeah it's like it's an agricultural product right yeah and there's just so it's international logistical Mm -hmm. there's it's it's comp it could be you know you need people to that interfere and that help us to get to like exactly what it is that we want yeah. Yeah. Do you um, focus on a specific region or do you like to go with all sorts um, of kinds of coffee? Well, we started with Guatemalan. Mm-hmm. That was our first bean because Casey lived there for a little while. Oh, wow. And it was, just, it was really special to him. So we started with that. And when we were speaking with the importers, we totally were like, let them know that was important to us. Mm-hmm. Um, we Organic is important as well. And that we kind of just went off that. And then like flavor profile and tastings and cuppings. And then that led to our first bean, the Chocha House. Wow. Yeah. Do you only do organic beans? We do. Yeah. Awesome. Right now, we, we've we always had certified organic, but we're open to not, like, we know there's, like, really good coffee that's not, mm-hmm. you know, organic, but yeah, we, we yeah. do. There are some um, producers in some countries just can't pay yeah, the course, certification because right. it's super, super expensive. expensive yeah. yeah. Um, but it's great that you can do kind of both. Yeah. That's nice. Exactly. Um, do you have a favorite coffee 
Uh, I, I mean, like I a region. Ju- we're or? just about to introduce a, a Peruvian mm-hmm. coffee, and Rudas, and I have to say, it could be my favorite. Really, it's so good. I have Peruvian coffee is so good. I think I've you had know? Peruvian once or twice. Yeah, you don't see. I mean, I. You're gonna hate me, but the Peruvian coffee that I had lately, like. Blue Bottle. No, oh, I got it at no, Blue Bottle. Yeah. It was actually I, I really good. I haven't had. I haven't had. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly haven't had a lot of Peruvian coffee. Yeah, but. The times I have, mm-hmm. I oh, I've loved it. I didn't. So good. I didn't even realize that there were producers in Peru that were making coffee for export because I just you never see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the only t- the first time I saw it, I think was at Blue Bottle. I think it was Blue Bottle. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Peruvian. That's interesting. Yeah. And so I immediately assumed it would be similar to you know other coffees that are from like I don't know like maybe Guatemala or something. I just right. figured maybe it'd be the same kind of thing, but it's really its own thing. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's delicious. It's such a testament to like how coffee really is changed by, uh, you know, where it's from, you right. know, how high it's grown, all that stuff, and that's still a mystery to me. Yeah. To this day, like it's crazy. We still love. Le- we still learn about it too, like every day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so much to learn. Yeah. Coffee's like crazy. <laughs> uh, you just told me that you started. You just opened a coffee shop as a joint venture with some people. Uh, it's called Neighborhood. Yes. Okay. Casey and I. Uh, they're using All Canyon Coffee right now. Mm-hmm. And it's a really beautiful shop, and we do all Canyon coffee. There's moon juice products there. There's vegan ice cream, mm-hmm. get avocados. Um, it's beautiful. That's it's awesome. Really beautiful. So I'm proud. you guys did the build out for that. We helped uh, consult the flow mm-hmm. and hiring and coffee, co- everything coffee mm-hmm. related. So cool. yeah, awesome. Uh, do you know what the machine is in that? Is that a? They um, are using a Marzocco. Okay, yeah. cool. That's I. I there's in the land of slayers because like it seems like every new coffee yeah. shop is like got to get that slayer and they're yeah. beautiful machines but like I learned the and classic I spent more, yeah. I spent ten years on uh, Alinea for like hours and hours and hours pulling shots yeah and it's like that's the machine that if I walk up to anyone anywhere I can immediately get into it dial it right. in really quick and so it's like you know I love the new stuff but like man stick me in front of Alinea and I'm like. Good to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have the repetitive motion injuries on my wrist and everything. It'll be fine. I'll get burned on the steamer, but who cares? Who cares? That's the little <laughs> coffee. <laughs> um, so what's what's in the future? What do you guys have planned? Do you have anything that you can share that you're so, like looking towards? Let's, there. I mean, Casey and I are always, you know, we want to continue putting out good coffee, mm-hmm. um, sourcing the best, what we love, just continue to build Canyon Coffee, mm-hmm. you know, and... We, we do talk about opening a roasting operation and having yeah. a shop, and that is looking like it's going to be in our future. Cool. It's just there's not an actual timeline yet to that, but mm-hmm. it's something that we're both looking forward to. Cool. So Along with our roaster, James, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Um, so we shouldn't be looking for, like, Canyon Reserve cafes opening up everywhere like no, Starbucks is doing? No, that's not going to happen. Okay, cool. <laughs> Still haven't been. Still got to try. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been yet. Either. I'm sure if anybody out there's tried the Starbucks Reserve, I have not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Have you had... Okay, has there been any coffee you've had recently that's really surprised you? Like something that you're like, this is not going to be that great, and then you try it and you're like, oh my god, this is amazing? Let me think. Because that just happened to me. Where did it happen to you? Uh, I talked about this in uh, my last video, but uh, Component Coffee, we went to Visalia and I got some of their little single serve eight ounce, uh, like their tea bags full of ground coffee. And then you just like steep it for five minutes like tea. And then it's supposed to be coffee. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this isn't coffee. And I tried it and it was really good. (laughs) So I'm like... Uh, I don't know, so that's pretty. I wonder how they do that. How they make that? I don't know if it's like a freeze dried thing. Yeah. Maybe I don't know because yeah. it's just like everything I know about coffee and about how volatile it is and about you know, uh, you know what it tastes like a certain days off roast and like yeah, what right. that how that affects it. Like it, it just boggles my mind how people are figuring out ways to do things like that with like the technology we have. Yeah. And I'm excited about it, but I'm also kind of like. But I love being a snobby <laughs> coffee guy that's like, that's not going to work. It has to be fresh. Like, Well, we did go recently to, um, in Carpentria. They're growing coffee there right now. Mm. Yeah. That's right. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fringe coffee. And we went and I, I was, I was, that had no idea what the coffee would taste like. Yeah. And we tried about like three cups and it was, it was really delicious. That's awesome. It was good, yeah. Cause I was you, surprised. I, I had no idea what it would be like. Yeah. Like coffee in, in, 
Santa Barbara area, you know. Yeah, it's a totally different, yeah. you know, climate than usually where coffee is grown, uh, which is really interesting because they're... I don't know how I feel about that because, you know, the producers of coffee in those countries that produce most of the coffee, like that's their, right. that's yeah. what they rely on for their income. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of cool that you can grow coffee here, but like, should you? Should you? I don't know. The ethics of that, I'm not really sure. Yeah. But I'm really interested in it because it's, it's, it's cool. Right. So yeah. That's true. But, um, I, get, I don't, that's pretty much it. I don't want to bother you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, really, yeah. thank you for coming to talk to me. This is awesome. This yeah, is my thank first. You for me. You're the first in my series of really? like, yeah. So I'm doing this series. I guess I can tell you guys too. I'm doing a series where I talk to creatives and uh, people who make things and do cool things that I think are cool. And uh, I'm doing, you know, some photographers, artists, uh, people in the food industry like yourself, um, who I think are doing cool things and are interesting and who want to sit down with me and talk about what they're doing. And so I'm trying to get that going and so you're the first oh, and so you. i'm really thank you for having yeah, me in your place and making me coffee in your <laughs> kitchen which is fantastic and i'm a huge fan so canyon coffee go check it out i'm gonna put the link to the description and you should go follow them on instagram canyon coffee on instagram right yep canyon yep coffee. canyon coffee on instagram uh and then tell them i sent you and then if enough people tell them that i sent them then maybe I can become like another partner in the company. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Free, free coffee. Free for coffee you. for life. I'm thinking <laughs> is what I'm thinking. Cause you know, I need more coffee. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, buy lots of coffee. Uh, send me free coffee. Uh, and then more of this series coming up um, in the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. We did it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>